Hey guys, it's Sushix here, and welcome to the first episode of our Hoenn Pixelmon Adventure Server series. And if you guys don't know what this server is, it is a server that I am uh, like I I own. I'm running with uh, with Hades as well. We're kind of co-owning this thing. I'm running it. He kind of does all the server stuff, and he and he made the map and everything. But it's super awesome. Um, but yeah, I'm starting a series on here. I'm not entirely sure how this series is going to go. It's probably going to go how uh, my Poke Peak series did, where I, I'm I, I don't know. There's no survival in this as well, so it's a lot, it's just all adventure, it's a big map, it's the entire Hoenn, uh, map, if you guys don't know what Hoenn is, it's the, uh, it's the world from Pokemon Emerald, Ruby, and Sapphire, so, uh, yeah, but, um, I don't know how this is going to run exactly, because a lot of my work on here will be adminning, uh, I'm on here every day, just making sure everything's running smoothly, adding NPCs, uh, uh, changing, like, everything, uh, because I'm pretty much, like, revamping the entire server and bringing it back to life. It was actually pretty dead before I came along, that's, that's why Hades, Hades got me, um, but yeah, I am, I'm pretty much running the server, this is my new Pokepeaks. This, alongside, uh, the, the sister server, which is Kanto, and, uh, it's pretty much the same IP, just replace Hoenn with Kanto if you guys want to go check that one out. Um, the thing with this server is, if you want to come on, come on and play with me, Oh, level 100 Bishop is shiny as well, that's really, really cool. Um, you guys should definitely come onto this server, the, the IP will be in the description. Uh, I would probably be online, if not, you know, online at soon. Um, so you can come on and play with me. You do need to also click on the link below that shows the installation inf information. Um, that's, that's a word. Or two words, installation information. That's actually fun to say. Um, but no, you actually need to install uh, custom NPCs as well, because as you can see, we've got some custom NPCs. A Pikachu, Pika Pika, we got some Blaziken, we got Officer Jenny, Santa, and we've also got some other stuff. Now, you guys won't be able to see the textures, because I'm still setting up uh, the texture pack uh, for you guys to be able to download and see all the textures and skins I'm using. Um, but yeah, if you want to get on to Hoenn, you need to use custom NPCs. Kanto does not have any NPCs, so you don't need to worry about that. So we're going to just start off. This first episode, I think, is just going to be exploring. I'm going to show off the server a little bit and uh, and walk around, and uh, you know, we're just going to take a look. So uh, on the left here, we have we have Santa. He just says hello. Yeah, he used to say something, and then he got all glitched up. So I got to fix him. Um, but we can warp to donate, and if we warp over there, this is just somewhere else in the town. So we were in the building in the bottom left, and now we're over here. And this just shows like all the different ranks that you can get. I might even have to up update this, because I've pretty much changed, yeah, this, that has incorrect prices, this is $10, it's actually down to $6, I've made all of the ranks cheaper, so, there you go, and this is like a whole of builders, people who helped build the server, I wasn't around when they were building it, uh, I've just come in now to kind of fix it all up, and, and run it and everything, now, this is really cool, this is called, I think it's like the polypa pad, or something, um, and this is, this is, as you can see, a giant polypa on the floor, and uh, basically what you can do from here is warp to each town in the game. Now you can actually go to uh, each one. You know what, we might ever actually go to one. Let's go to uh, Lava Ridge. I'll show you guys Lava Ridge for a second. So we're just going to, uh, to walk out here. So as you can see, uh, Lava Ridge is a bit weird. But if you look at the map, as you can see, we're at Lava Ridge here. And uh, there's a fire gym. Look how cool that one is. And uh, also, you can take this little path off to the side here. And uh, you can go into Team Magma's base. And you'll actually find the base... Uh, leader guy, the Team Magma leader. So you just have to like climb up through the thing, go through the giant cave and everything, and and you'll find him. Uh, but it's very, very well built. It's like an exact replica of the game. It's super awesome. So you guys should definitely uh, jump on and come play. Come play, yes. But uh, yeah, we're gonna start off our journey. As you can see, my Mudkip is already level ten because I've done a little bit of battling. Um, now, 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 now. Hmm. Anyway, so yeah, you can just see this is the moving van from the game. You got Move on my truck. He's like, my truck, my truck. Uh, I'm going to set up more NPCs in here so it looks like more lively. Uh, we do have Dan over here. He says something. Uh, if you use a PC, you can store items in Pokemon. The power of science is staggering. Uh, and then we have Carla over here. Be careful leaving the town. Pokemon will attack you if you aren't ready. All right, thank you, Carla. And uh, I think that's the uh, I think that's Little Root Town showing off for you guys. And we're still going through each of the towns and uh, and fixing up everything. As you can see, at the top it says Little Root Town. If uh, we leave, uh, where's where's the leaving bit? Oh, as you can see, it says Route 101 now. That's the route that we are on. And uh, uh, it's it's a lot of like easy Pokemon kind of spawn here. We got Weedles, Pikachu's, and uh, and uh, lunch, a bunch of cool stuff, which is awesome. Uh, and the entire road is lit up as well. So playing at night doesn't really matter. Uh, where are we going? Who are we going to train against? Let's do some training. Yeah. Ooh, 43 Pikachu. No, 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 no. 
No, 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 no. Uh, Caterpie. Oh, let's do this level 9 spinner rack. Alright. Uh, oh, wow, the boss bar goes all weird. Did not know that. Uh, mud slurp tackle. Let's just tackle him. Tackle. And there we go. Tackle is... Someone is watching me tackle. Oh my god, they're showing off their swamp it. <laughs> I've, I've barely, like, trained any Pokemon, because all my work on here has just been, like, adminning and stuff. Uh, yes, level 11! Yeah! Yeah! Um, I'm also going to be streaming on here, by the way, if I didn't mention that. I don't think I did. Anyway, let's continue up Route, one, route 101. We're going to get to, I think, Old Dale Town is up next. You can see it up ahead. Um, we're going to head over to Old Dale Town. And, uh, yeah, I think just for this first episode... We're just going to be showing off the towns and everything, just walking around, seeing how everything looks, and uh, hopefully enticing you guys into coming and playing with me. And uh, also something I'm going to do, which is what I kind of started doing at the end of the Poke Peak series or something, I don't even remember when I was doing it. Um, oh, look at this. Sir Kensington. Alright, we're not high enough to verse him, and we've got Nurse Joy over here, I think she just says hello. Yep. Um, and we can heal up, we should heal. So, uh, yeah, but what I'm going to do... Uh, for this series, and just in particular, I am going to be giving a shout out to anyone who purchases any sort of rank. Uh, so, I think there's 10 ranks, or 8 ranks. Um, and uh, the the cheapest and first rank is only 6 bucks. So, if you buy that, or any, any rank, which, you know, you get a shout out in the video. Uh, and that's what I did in Pokepeaks, and I'm like, well, you know, may as well do it for the cool people who want to donate to this server. And this is, don't, like, don't get confused, guys. This isn't like, I'm just an admin on this server. I run this server. I own it. I, like, I, I do everything. I have access to all control panels, and I make all the rules, and assign all the staff, and I own it. Uh, Hades also owns it. <laughs> he, uh, he made the map and runs, like, the server. He actually owns the server, like, he is the server host. So, that's what I mean by that. Yeah, but you yeah, see all these empty buildings that uh, we have here? I'm just going to, like, fill them with NPCs and stuff. So, that's uh, that's that. Now, we're going to continue along this road. I actually don't know what's along this route here. I kind of forget. Um, to the left is Pedalberg, but we're not going to the left. We're going up. Oh, what's that building up there? Or is that just a... Ah, oh, I remember. This is where you verse, like, your rival in the game. Is that what that little, uh... That little battle place is? Or is, it, is that just, like, place there so then you can battle other people? And what's this over here? Oh, that's supposed to be, like, showing you where to swim. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Um, Come on. Uh, sprint. Sprint, my pretties. But as you can see here, there's no lights on the path up this far. Uh, seeing as I've only started working on the server, like, over the past few days. Um, oh, is there a player here? Oh, someone's just here. Um, and you can see it's a little bit empty at the moment. Six plays is actually quite decent for now, uh, because, yeah, we're pretty much only just started working on this and getting it going and getting people playing. Um, so, where's this guy? I want to see this guy. He's just going through all the trees. Come back, guy. Come back. I want to say hello. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, the entire, uh, the entire map you can walk through. It's not like you can't walk through the trees or anything. You can pretty much cut through all the trees and get to the next town. Uh, you have the ability to warp to every town, so it doesn't really matter if you want to go in order or not. Uh, but for story purposes, it's always a lot funner to go through each town like you would in the game. Um, yes, 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 I was, was going to talk about something. I kind of forgot what I was going to talk about. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, you'll just see me on here, like, all the time. Uh, this is one of the major reasons why there has only been maybe two or three uploads in the past week. Uh, this, along with exams and... Uh, I started streaming again. It just made it very hard for me to record much. Um, uh, but I'm gonna be doing a bulk, a bulk recording, like, this weekend. Like, I'm recording this episode. I'm gonna record Pixelmon Journey after this. I've already recorded two PS4 Minecrafts. Um, so... I'm going to try and just get at least one video out a day. Um, and, and I gotta do Pixelmon Journey more. I've kind of been slacking on that. Uh, it's supposed to be a daily series. And then one day I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it every second day. And then from then on, I only did it, like, once in the past, like, five days. So, yeah, my bad. Anyway, we're gonna head over to Pedalberg now. We're just gonna go explore that. So, yeah. As I said, today's an exploring episode. Uh, next episode, which will probably be in, like, three or four days, um, I'll, I'll probably hopefully have some shout-outs to give. I will, uh, I will, like, the server will be, like, more updated, because I'm just gonna be working on it, I can show off more NPCs, we're gonna do a bunch of training, uh, hopefully a bunch of catching, hopefully there will be you guys on the server when I'm recording, so I can, uh, you know, just say hello to you guys, and be like, hey guys, I'm recording, say hello, and you guys can be in the video, um, 
So if you've ever if you've ever watched my Pixelmon videos and been like, hey, it'd be cool to be in that world with Sushi, now is your chance. This is this is your chance to join me in my in, in my Pixelmon adventure. But uh, now, yeah, Petalberg is up here. This path is actually this route is actually very long, um, and it's very it's very twisty and turny. And I could just cut through all the trees, but it's funner to go along the path. And uh, if you ever see these like yellow carpets, it just means that there's a glowstone under there. So that's that's how we've decided to like light up the paths. It's just glowstone and uh, a yellow carpet on top. It's kind of it's it's unique, you know. Uh, I don't know. Wait, what's this little bit here? If you fall in that, are you stuck? Oh no. Okay, you can jump up here. I don't know what that is. I don't know why that's there. It looks interesting though. I don't know. Maybe I could do something with that. Ooh. Um. But yes, this is the first town you will come across that has a gym. So it should be, I think. Maybe. Is Petalberg the first one? Oh wait, don't you come? Isn't Petalberg owned by your dad, and then you like come back, and it's like the third gym that you face, even though it's, it's like technically like the first on the map. I don't know. Uh, and it also has shops, so you can you have money in the server um, that you get from like selling stuff or whatever, and then you can buy items and and whatnot here. Um, it also has plots. Now I haven't really checked out the plots that much. Uh, if we go plot, you know what? Well, let's do this in the middle of an episode. Plot me. Uh, no, you know what? Never mind. Because <laughs> I'm going to look stupid. Oh, wait, if I go help. I swear this is the server with plots on it. Help 2. N what? Hey, I said help 2. Oh, it's space 2. My bad. Uh, essential citizen chat protection. Ah, uh, never mind. Alright. So, it, I think it might have plots or it might have plots in the future. I don't know. We're working on it. Uh, we're also looking at trying to make this a hub server with the... Because, uh, as I said, this is uh, we this is the Hoenn server and we have a Kanto server. Um, and trying to make that into, like, a hub sort of thing. But apparently the latest Pixel 1 version doesn't really support hubs. So, um, that's a thing. Yeah, there's no one in here. I'm actually... I actually have a tab open of a, uh, a GBLA... A GBLA... GBA emulator with emerald on it. And, uh, what are you doing? Leave me alone! Uh, actually, you know what? Let's face this mill tank. Um, oh no, not the radicate. I don't want to reverse the radicate. Alright, there we go. Um, yeah, with a GBA emu emulator, uh, with emerald on it. And, uh, I'm just, like, going through the towns and seeing, like, what NPCs are in the actual game and what they say. Um, so I'm gonna die here. Duh! Duh! Um, but one of the, if you, if you, I showed you guys Dan from the first town, his line that he says is actually uh, a line that one of the, uh, one of the NPCs in the actual game say. So, I thought it'd just be cool to, like, add that in, so, like, I could walk into the Pokemon Center, and then in Emerald, in the actual game of Emerald, I could walk into the Pokemon Center in Petalburg, and then look at what the NPCs say, and then I can add my own NPCs in here, saying the same thing. So, you know, just, like, kind of adds to the whole feel of it, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool in my opinion. But yeah, as you can see, just a lot of like empty buildings we have going on. Um, now you guys can set these things up, I guess, as like places where you and your friends meet and you guys always hang out in these buildings and stuff. Um, we're also going to be adding NPCs. And after we've kind of felt comfortable with the NPCs or like starting to get comfortable with how many NPCs are around and that they're working all properly, um, we will be adding in quests. So you can talk to NPCs and they'll be like, hey, uh, can you go to this place and get this item for me or something? And then you walk there and you might have to battle a trainer and then you'll get the item and, um, and then you just bring it back. And that just might be a quest. See, there's a big empty room here. I've got so much, like, creative juices flowing of what I could do in this sort of area. So, uh, yeah, we definitely want to add quests in to give you guys, uh, more things to do, especially if maybe there's no one online or you normally play servers at a time where it's, like, not good for a majority of the people. Uh, as somebody playing in Australia, I'm normally playing on servers when, uh, they're at their, like, lowest peak, pretty much, because when I play, everyone in America is asleep. Uh, oh, and yes, to, to get to the gym leader for this one, uh, you have to answer questions and stuff. So, which Pokemon does not evolve using the Sunstone? So, Vile Plume and, uh, Pet, Pet, Petilil? Petilil. Okay. Well, this is, this is, this is the right one. Um, what is Metagross's highest possible attack stack? 378 or 405? Uh, alright, let's go to this one. Who is Silver's father from Pokemon Gold? Professor Elm, that's wrong. Giovanni. Uh. Oh, Silver. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, that's your rival, isn't it? Alright, Professor Elm, let's go this way. Uh. Go back, go back. What? Is Giovanni really? I don't even remember playing Pokemon Gold, honestly. Giovanni. Wow, okay. 512, 510. What's the question? 
There is no question here! Uh, see, these are the small things that we need to fix up. Uh, okay. Who was the first Pokemon created? Rhydon? No. Ar Arceus? Oh, this one, this one, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which item only boosts the Pokemon Pikachu? Light ball, maybe. Okay, you guys should just wander around until you pretty much find where you want to go. And we have Norman, the gym leader. It says level zero. I don't know why it says that. All right, let's... Oh, my God, he's at level 51 Tauros. Ooh. All right, well, we're going to die. I made a mistake. I don't know why it said level zero. <sighs> Norman, you're too strong. All right, let's heal up here. Good thing there's a, there's a healer, which is good. Good, good, good. And now we're just going to jump off the edge. Whee! Uh, and jump off the edge. Whee! And now it's stuck! Oh god, what have I done? Yeah, so there's, there's, there's still little kinks and stuff. Um, yeah, if you ever get in, actually, you know what, instead of changing my game, and if you ever get into a situation like this, uh, first of all, tell me where it is so I can fix it, and then second of all, just do slash spawn, you'll end up back at spawn, and, uh, if you're like, oh shit, now I have to walk all the way back to where I was, as I said, you got these polypa, uh, pads, so you can just use one of these warp points to get straight back into Pedalberg. Is Pedalberg on this? No, it's Pedalberg's on this side. So we can just go over to here, and we'll head on to Pedalberg, and there we are, we're back at Pedalberg. So... If you ever get stuck, it's really easy to get back to where you were. You know what? Let's let's check out one more town before I end the episode. Um, where are we gonna go? Let's go. Oh, Fortree kind of lags me a little bit. There's a lot of trees in Fortree. Uh, Lily Cove. This one has the giant mall, so I'm not gonna go into it, but you guys can see what it looks like. Uh, so yeah, the buildings are like really well done as well, as you can see. Like, look how cool that is. This road. <laughs> it kind of annoys me a little bit because like you try and walk across it and you just go up and down, bouncing. Um, but there is there is the Lily Cove Mall, and it does have a casino, I think, in it, but I don't know if it works 100%. Uh, because I haven't taken a look at it. So, uh, but here it is. Here's the here's the mall. Very, very tall. You can climb all the stairs and get to the top. And, uh, and there's... And I don't know. Yeah, I'm just going through each of these towns and just adding my own little, uh, secrets and stuff. Um, so you can definitely come onto this server and then come on the next day and notice there's, like, a whole new set of things or a new quest or something. Um, so there's always going to be something for you guys to do. And, uh, I don't know what this... Oh, wait, 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 what did this say? Vote for your favorite trainers on the left and then look at the... Okay. Who is your favorite player? The top 12 are listed below. So this isn't set up. I'm going to need to talk to Hades about this. If you have a question or complaint, a book, drop a book in. Hoppers will be checked often. Well, I have never checked these in my life, so that's a lie. <laughs> uh, I'm brutally honest here. Uh, Alright, I think we might end the episode here, actually. Next episode, I, I assure you guys, there will be some catching and some training. And uh, maybe even... Uh, checking out the first gym. I don't know what the first gym is supposed to be, because I know it's not Pedalberg, because the first gym definitely could not be facing level 51 Tauroses. Uh, I want to end in one of these buildings, assuming you can, you can walk in them. Some buildings you can't go into, most you can, though. As you can see, you can go into this building, so... Yeah, and just see, adding, MP adding like, random NPCs in here. Also, this is a really good place. It's set up as a, uh as a battle arena, so you can just jump on here with your friend and be like, hey, let's battle, and it's a perfect place. You have PCs and, and everything, so it all works out. There's a lot of really cool places in here for you guys to check out, but thanks for watching, guys. Do not forget to leave a like down below if you did enjoy this episode. Come on and hop on the server. The IP will be in the description down below. Um, you can come on and play with me. Also, don't forget to come to my streams when I'm streaming on here. You can play with me even more. Uh, don't forget to also uh, leave a comment down below with what you guys would like to see me do on the server. And uh, there will be no code word for today. Um, the co actually, you know what? The code word for today is just commenting whatever you like. Do that. Comment whatever you like. If you comment, you're cool. Uh, but next episode, I will have a code word. But uh, yeah, and don't forget to just look at the ranks if you want to really help the server and help me out. Um, and I will be giving shoutouts to anyone who buys uh, the a, a rank. The lowest rank is $6. So that's kind of, you know, pretty cheap. But I'll see you guys in the next episode of Pixelmon Hoenn Adventure Server. I might need to uh, make a cooler name. Pixelmon Hoenn Adventure Server. I'll see you guys later. Bye!